Hi everyone, I'm Paul with Madcap Software and we have made it to video 10 out of 10 in our uh, learning and development video series for Madcap Flare. And this is it. So we've done a whole bunch of stuff throughout this video series and now we're up to the end. And we are going to talk about integrating your e-learning output with an external learning management system. So we're gonna take a look in Flare real quick and then just talk a little bit about uh, what you do on the other side with your uh, LMS. All right, so in Flare, remember we are talking about your online outputs for this LMS integration and specifically HTML5 output formats, which is what we have in here. And if I open up one of my targets, just as a reminder in the e-learning tab, you have certain options in here. And so if you do want to upload your e-learning output from Flare to an LMS, you have your choice, what you wanna do, SCORM or XAPI. And you choose that and you fill out the fields below, you know all that. All right, so then we generated the output from this and uh, let's make sure that it is up to date. So let's generate it one last time. And what we're going to do in the last video on publishing and viewing output, I showed how you can quickly get to your output folders. And you select that row and choose open output, uh, open output folder. And let me drag this here onto the other side. So there it is. All right. So these are your output folders. Now, one of these folders is LMS package. And if you double click that, you're going to get the name of your course in a zip file, all right? And so that zip file holds the things that you need. This particular one we generated with SCORM 2004. And so with SCORM, it's gonna include uh, something, there, it's gonna include its own, its own stuff. It's gonna include this uh, manifest file. And if we had done XAPI, it would include uh, a different a tin can document file. All right. So you have your zip file. You know how to get to it. Now, what you do is you got to go log in to your LMS in order to upload it. Now, there are a lot of uh, options out there on the market for LMS. And so they don't all work exactly the same way, and I'm not going to actually go into any of them and show you. I mean, they their interface could change at any time. I will show you just real briefly here, a few images, an example of what it could be. For example, uh, Rustici has a SCORM cloud, and maybe you are using that. So let's say you are, and so you go and you log in to your account. Then, you uh, click uh, add content, and that is going to take you to a place where you go and select your zip file. You browse and find that zip file that I just showed you, and you import it. It's super easy, all right? And then once you do that, then it's just, it's part of the library. It's up there. And that's where the LMS just kind of takes over, and you do what you normally would do, with that, that tool, that cloud tool or that self-hosted tool, they, they work differently. Depends on you know, whatever, whatever you're using, all right? So this was a really quick video, especially compared to all the others. It's, uh, it's pretty easy to get the zip file up there um, and hopefully your, whatever solution you're using will, uh, will, support, it, uh, will support it well, all right? That is going to actually wrap up the entire video series on uh, learning and development in Madcap Flare. Hopefully by now you have a really good idea of all the things that you can do and how to do it and even how to get, get started quickly and go in there and produce e-learning output um, in, in an efficient way and get it out to your end users. Thank you so much for sticking with me through this whole series. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you next time.